Hi, this is TK, and I'm the Chief Happiness Officer here at TowDap Labs. Uh, over the next five minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Spreadsheet CRM, the super simple way to track your leads and opportunities right inside of Google Drive using a simple spreadsheet instead of really complicated CRM systems. So if you're watching this video, you've probably already filled out the Getting Started form, and you're in this Getting Started page where you have a giant green button right below the video you're looking at that says Install the Google Drive. So to go ahead and get started with this spreadsheet, you just want to go ahead and click on that button. And I'll just walk you through in this video how to install the spreadsheet and just show you around the spreadsheet a little bit so you know how to use it for your own sales process. So the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and hit Install the Google Drive. And what that'll do is it'll open a brand new tab. And inside of the tab, you'll see it's a preview of the spreadsheet CRM system uh, with the dashboard and the leads and opportunities with a little bar across the top that says whether you want to use this template or not. So the thing I would, I would want you to do first is go ahead and hit the Use This Template button so that it actually installs a version of this template right into your Google Drive system. So I'll just hit the button. And it'll take a few seconds as it copies over the spreadsheet and sets it, up in your, sets it up in your own account. And then you should end up with something that says Copy of Spreadsheet CRM version 1.0a. And this essentially is your spreadsheet system. Uh, we've gone ahead and put in a few default configuration parameters and some sample data so you can get a feel for how this whole thing works. But before you get started with any of that, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and rename the spreadsheet so it makes a little bit more sense. So you want to click on the name of the spreadsheet right up top in the top left corner. When you click on it, it'll say Rename Spreadsheet. And you want to rename it to something a little bit more meaningful. In this case, I'll just call it Spreadsheet CRM. Uh, I like to keep track of the version number, and that way, at just one glance, you'll be able to see what version you're on and if you need to upgrade to a newer version for whatever reason, and hit OK. OK, so now you're in the spreadsheet, really simple. The first thing I like to do, just so I give myself a little bit more space, is I go to View, and I choose Compact Controls. And when I do that, you'll see it just pushes the menu up a little bit, gets rid of the extra stuff, and that way it gives you more space to actually view the spreadsheet and the data and everything. Now, in the spreadsheet itself, there's basically three tabs. There's the dashboard, there are your leads, and there are your opportunities. And the dashboard is basically two things. One, it kind of give you an, gives you an overview and the configuration for the spreadsheet. There's some basic things. And two, it gives you an at-a-glance view. We were able to use a lot of the advanced features that exist in Google Drive to pull in all kinds of summaries and spreadsheets, uh, summaries and graphs to actually show you what's going on in your sales pipeline. So as you start to fill in more data into your leads and opportunities tabs, you'll be able to come back over here and look at the dashboard tab to see the number of leads you're dealing with, number of opportunities, uh, what type of leads in terms of title are more popular in your lead pipeline, and even what stage each of your opportunities are in. So you can start to get a feeling of where you are in your sales process just from the simple spreadsheet. So uh, really powerful stuff. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and configure the spreadsheet. Uh, there, there's, at this point, there's really two basic things you want to configure. Uh, they're all over here, and as we add more things, we'll add them to this section right over here. The first thing you want to configure is how often you want to be following up with your leads and opportunities. Uh, so what Spreadsheet CRM does, it kind of calculates the last time you touched a person, whether it was email or phone, and then it figures out when the next time you should touch that person is, and kind of reminds you, hey, this, you should reach out to this person in a day, or zero days, or today. So the way we do all of that is we configure it right over here. Uh, the default is seven days. You can change it to five or 14, all depending on how, how often you want to follow up and how quickly you want to close deals. So in this particular scenario, we'll just leave it at seven. The next thing I want to do is put in my email address. Now, we don't really tap into this configuration right now, but we will in the future. So it's a good thing to just put it in there. So in my particular case, I'll just go ahead and put in tk.com, and it'll just go in for me. In the second section, this is purely optional. If you're already using toutapp.com to track your sales emails and integrate it into Gmail, this spreadsheet can actually pull in all of your real-time email tracking data, and that way you don't have to manually put in when the last time was you emailed a person. It'll just all fill in automatically for you. I'm already a Toutapp user, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password, um, and that way it'll just get stored in there. Now keep in mind that the password field actually is your actual password. Uh, we configure it in a way so it doesn't actually show, but you can just type it in there. And we'll use this to go over a secured API to pull in the data in real time 
across your leads and your opportunities. Um, but if you don't want to use tout, that's totally fine too. Special CRM works perfectly fine without tout. It just adds more value in terms of follow-ups if you do use it. Okay, so we've got the basic configuration in there. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you a tour of the leads tab and the opportunities tab and just show you around the different columns that are there and how they come together. The first thing we're going to be looking at is leads. Uh, leads are essentially people that you know you want to be working with, but you haven't quite had a conversation with them or haven't quite sussed out if there's a deal to be had. You don't know all the details, so they're leads. Opportunities essentially are you've talked to the person, you've kind of established that they're actual opportunities and you could do a deal, you just have to work through the process, so you move them over to opportunities. Now remember, this is just a spreadsheet. It's just pretty, it's a little bit smarter than your average spreadsheet. So moving data around, it's pretty easy. You just copy and paste it between the two tabs. So let me show you first on what leads look like. So in the leads tab right over here, it's really straightforward and easy. You can just go in over here and you can track all the specific aspects of your leads. Now Spreadsheet CRM has already set you up for about 100 leads. And we kind of encourage you to keep it that way. If you're dealing with more than 100 leads, if you're dealing with more than 100 opportunities, it's really time for you to move to a proper CRM system. But if it's under 100, our whole theory is you can use this spreadsheet CRM system to actually focus on selling instead of the complicated stuff that comes with setting up CRM. And that way you can actually close your first million dollars of business and then move on to hiring more people and building out a CRM and all that stuff. Now, with that said, we've already got some sample data in here. So let me just walk you through really quickly on how this whole thing comes together. Now, all you really have to do is put in your contact information for the lead over here. So what that means is you can just go in and put in their company name, their name, their title, their email, maybe their phone number. Uh, and we actually configured it to do the rest, meaning for the website, there's actually a formula in here where it'll look at the email address and figure out what the domain is and just link you to their website. So since it's john and acme.com, we already know the website is acme.com. Similarly, if this was tk at toutapp.com, we already know the website is toutapp.com. So it'll fill the, figure that out for you automatically. Similarly, say I were to change this to toutapp inc and put in my full name here and say I'm the founder, we do the LinkedIn lookup just the same. You don't actually have to be connected with this person. Uh, Special CRM is again configured so it automatically searches for this person in LinkedIn. So if, so if I just click on this LinkedIn thing and I click on the LinkedIn link, it'll take me directly into LinkedIn and search for the name and the company and there you are, that's my profile right there. And it'll pretty much work for 99% of the people that you have in there, all automatically. And then you have a few, uh, few uh, more automated fields right over here. There's next follow up in days. There's the number of days left till you have to follow up, uh, the last touch, and the last email. And depending on whether you're using Tout or not, this could be completely automatic or it could be manual. So generally, you don't want to mess with these fields. You can if you want to, but these are all custom lookups where it looks into Tout and figures out when the last email was. But in this particular case, uh, say uh, I'm dealing with Paul Timmy, co-founder uh, at General Medical Devices. Um, I can just go in over here and say my last touch was actually on the first of uh, first of May, and in that case, it'll actually oh not 2012, 2013, and the special CR will automatically go in and figure out well you know what it's been about 26 days since uh, the last touch. And that means you should have followed up with them about 19 days ago since you said you want to follow up with people every 17, uh, seven days or so. And so it'll actually figure all that out for you all automatically. And similarly, if you're actually using Tout App, uh, this formula will actually figure out the latest email you sent to this person through Gmail and Tout automatically. And so if I were to send this person an email, it'll fill in for me automatically when the last email was, what the subject of the email was, and they'll even tell me whether they viewed it or clicked on it so I know um, what exactly happened to that email. So, not, so on this side from, from K and before, column K and before, it's all pretty much auto, uh, manual. You can put in what kind of information you want. And from here forward, this hooks into Tout and automatically pulls in your last email if you wanted to use that. And then after that, you actually have some additional fields that you we, we've seen people track and they're kind of optional. You can track where you got the lead, what industry they're in, what kind of revenue, employee size, country, address, all kinds of information. And the beauty of this is, since this is all a spreadsheet, 
all of this is filterable. So you can go in and say, hey, I want to filter by last touch. I only want to look at people I've actually reached out to. And they'll filter it that way. If you want to show, um, say I actually reached out to them today, today's the 27th, 2013, and it's zero, and this person I reached out to today, and it's zero, and say I reached out to these people in 2013, and all of these people are all 5 20, 2013 meaning today's zero means today I should follow up, and I want to filter just by people I should be following up with today. I can just filter by zero, and it'll only show me the people that I should be following up with today. So super easy, super simple. And just the same, uh, you can actually click on the email address, and it'll take you right into Gmail, so you can follow up with those people right from Gmail as well. Really simple. And so this is basically a spreadsheet, except it has some of these smarts to help you remind people, help you, help you, help you remind yourself when you should follow up with these people. And similarly, as people are sort of vetted in your sales process and you want to move them over to opportunities, you can just say, all right, suppose with Blue Dynamics, Phil Langley, uh, I talked to him and it's all, it's all great. Uh, it looks like there's a fit to be had here. I can just copy these three lines over here and go into my opportunities which you'll see looks very similar, but has a couple of other fields to specific opportunities. I'll show you that in a sec. You can just go in and say, I'll just paste this in over here and boom, this person becomes an opportunity. Really simple, no complicated software. It's just literally, what are my leads? What are my opportunities? What stage are they in? And speaking of stage, that's actually the custom fields that are here in opportunities. Right from over here, you'll see it already figured out the website and LinkedIn, just like the other, other tab. But now you can go in over here and start tracking the stage they're in and the opportunity size. So I can say, hey, um, I'm at a point where I'm trying to prove the value. And you can use your own stages. Uh, stage, stage. You can number them. You can have specific categories. The different best practices. Uh, if you have questions on best practices around stages itself, feel free to email us, help at tabup.com, and we can talk to you about that. Uh, and finally, there's opportunity dollar amount. And you can say, this is about a $100,000 potential deal. Um, and uh, you can also say the last time I touched with him was today and uh, special serum will say, okay, cool. That means you got to get back to him in about seven days. And similarly, and say this is like, we can say pricing negotiations. You can say it's a different stage as well. Similarly, as you start to fill in this data, you can actually go back into the dashboard and you'll start to see, oh, right. There's one of these opportunities in the pricing negotiation stage. So you'll see the data starts to update itself right in there as well, which is um, really cool. Cool. Well, that's basically spreadsheet CRM in a gist. Uh, what this does for you is tr helps you really just focus on your sales process and track your leads and opportunities in a simple thing like a spreadsheet. And that way, for your first million dollars of business, you're actually focusing on selling instead of some really complicated CRM software that helps you, that makes you do custom fields and all kinds of crazy stuff when all you really need to do is Figure out who, who are your leads, when you need to follow up, who are your opportunities, what stage they're in, and how close are they to buying, and help that, drive that through. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback on Spreadsheet CRM, just email us at help at toutapp.com, T-O-U-T-A-P-P.com. And also, uh, since you set up Spreadsheet CRM, I'm assuming you went through the little form. So that adds you to our newsletter, and so we'll keep you updated on new versions and developments and best practices through that. If you haven't, Go to SpreadsheetCRM.com and you'll be able to go and sign up for our newsletter over there. Just fill out the form and that way you're in there and we'll continue to push out updates to you uh, as we develop this software. Uh, thanks again for joining us and uh, looking forward to your feedback. And thanks for trying out SpreadsheetCRM.